The UK government has issued orders to ban more than 1,600 football fans across England and Wales, with football banning orders being told to hand in their passports to stop them from going to Euro 2024 in Germany. Fans must surrender their UK passports from 4th June until the tournament ends on 14th July. This has brought a lot of questions, especially with the football lovers who wanted to go witness and support their country in the tournament. So why is the UK government doing this? Do these fans not have the right to go support their country? Let's find out all the reasons why the UK government issued this order in what follows in this video. But before we get there, if you've not already, please subscribe to our channel and let's continue. According to reports from BBC Sports and Daily Mail, thousands of football fans have been banned from following England at this summer's European Championship under a government clampdown on hooligans. Over 1,600 fans with football banning orders will be forced to surrender their passports to the police from 4th June until the European Championship finals on 14th July to ensure they do not attempt to attend matches in Germany. Anyone failing to hand in their passport or attempting to travel to Germany will face a large fine or prison term with a maximum sentence of six months. The new powers to force fans to surrender passports have been introduced following a surge in football-related violence in recent years. With police making 22 C4 arrests at matches last season and issuing 682 new banning orders, the highest figures since 2011. The vast majority of fans are law-abiding, but we will have zero tolerance for those who disrupt this incredible event, said Policing Minister Chris Philp. These measures will ensure true football fans can travel to the tournament safely and prevent hooligans from committing these crimes abroad. Violence, abuse and disorder have no place in the game we love. Football banning orders are imposed by courts following a conviction for a football-related offence. This can include violence, disorder, pitch invasions, use of pyrotechnics and online hate crimes. They prevent people from attending regulated football matches for up to five years and up to 10 years if a custodial sentence is imposed. However, critics of the ban argue that it's funny how the UK government can stop people leaving the country but not a single one entering illegally. According to some of them, the government should stop the boats first. Others say that it's a shame to see that the government doesn't put as much effort into banning other types of troublemakers from leaving the country but only does for football fans. Some say it's unfair to punish all fans with banning orders, as many may not be a danger and are being penalised for the actions of a few. This disrupts the travel plans of fans who genuinely want to support their team peacefully. Some also argue that truly determined hooligans might find ways to travel regardless, while the ban primarily inconveniences law-abiding fans. In my own opinion, it's a tricky situation. While the goal of ensuring safety is important, a blanket ban can be harsh. Perhaps a tiered system could be implemented with stricter limitations for high-risk individuals and some leniency for lower-risk fans. Additionally, working with German authorities for enhanced security measures at the matches could be a helpful approach. Finding the right balance between safety and freedom is key here. While the authorities prioritize preventing hooliganism, Hopefully they can explore solutions alongside German counterparts that don't excessively penalise well-behaved fans. Ultimately, ensuring a fun and safe Euro 2024 for everyone should be the main objective. We hope this information was very helpful to you enough. Please don't forget to share your thoughts with us in the comments section below about this same issue. Have a great day.